Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is another episode of the world famous, the University of Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. Today is Friday, July the 27th. 2022 ladies and gents how are you come on in come on in come on in we have a jam-packed show for you today ladies and gents this week as you well know i talked to you i was i was at the beach with my wife and my baby my little baby she enjoyed the uh beach she liked to sit out there in the in the uh the water she liked to uh, she enjoyed it so much she was very content she didn't say a whole lot and when my daughter's not saying a whole lot that means my daughter's having a good time she wasn't uh screaming she wasn't uh, uh fussing she was just relaxing and i was like all right look at this look at this child you know she had a little beach hat on she was enjoying the day my wife had a good time i had a good time i didn't want to leave Wife didn't want to leave, but you know, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get back to reality. So no, but it, but it's good. We'll we'll go back again. We was down in South Carolina. Well, first we went to Savannah, Georgia, and then we went to Tybee Island, and uh, then we went to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Hilton Head, South Carolina is a very nice place. I like Savannah. They have very good food in Savannah. And Hilton Head, the food was, eh, it was okay. Eh, it was okay. But anyway, how are you doing today? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and, and you know, I want to make this announcement. Because they say, if you don't announce things, then how, then you can't really hold yourself accountable. And you know, in the last year that I have my daughter, you know, I would like to say this. Having a baby, you know, not that it's... I love having, I love being a father, you know what I mean? It's one of the great joys of my life. You know, I've been with my baby every day for the last 300 and however many days, you know, the birthday's coming up, but we've been together, you know, there's not been, my wife went to a wedding or something like that, you know, so she was gone for like a couple of days, she came back and she was like, I miss the baby, but you know, her father you know, parent of the year has been there every day, you know. I think the longest I was away, the longest, besides work, the longest I was away from my, from my little baby is like 12 hours or something like that, you know. I mean, eventually I know that she's going to start going places and, you know, but when they're young, when they're young, you know, it's, it's like your time, you know what I mean? It's like your time to, because, you know, I, <laughs> I like to, I start talking sometimes and I, and I ramble on and then I'll tell her, I'll say, and thank you for, <laughs> and this is my TED talk. And uh, she'll look at me and she's, ah, and I'm like, thank you for listening, to, you know, because one day she's going to be like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, dad, all right, all right, all right, you know, and I'll be like, what, what are you, what are you cutting me off for? But, uh, you know, and then eventually she'll do. She'll do all the talking because she won't be friends. With, she won't be friends with uh, Morgan anymore. She won't be friends with uh, you know Betty, Veronica, and you know whoever. You know they 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 didn't give her a fruit cup at lunch, and it'll be a whole thing. But being a parent for me has been a wonderful experience. But between being a parent of my child and helping to take care of my mother-in-law. The weight gain has been real. You know what I'm saying? I probably got, I probably gained 20 pounds. 20, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. I know I've gained a significant amount of, uh, you know, uh, weight in the last year, you know. But, you know, but I told myself, I said, you know, self, I said, now I'm about to, I said, now I'm going to go for the next, you know, next few months. I'm going to really focus in on, you know, losing weight and working out, you know, and getting healthy, you know. The most important thing for me, you know, is eat is eating healthy, you know, because one one thing about the pandemic, I don't know about you, but the pandemic sort of uh 
Because, like I said, you know, when you're at home and you can't really, you know, once I, I you know, I was over the road. And then I, once I got off the road, you know, I would be, I would be sitting at home and my wife would be at work or something. You know, this is even before we, you know, she got pregnant. And she would be at work, and you know, it's like uh, I would be, I would work at night, and I would get off in the morning, and then it's like, all right, she would say, all right, you know, mom, you know, my mom got to eat, and I'm like, all right, you know, this, and it's like, you know, you're tired, and it's like, should you cook? And it's like, nah, I, I'll just get Chick Fil A, you know. And for those of you that don't know, don't know Chick Fil A is a is a food place. It's, Based out of Atlanta, Georgia, but they they they're getting more and more Chick Fil A's, and they have they have all right, they have good, pretty good chicken sandwiches. But I've eaten so much Chick Fil A in the last two years that I'm up to my neck in Chick Fil A. I'm I'm sick of it. But between that and the the fast food is just like the way has the way has came on strong, and it's like hey yeah 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 yeah. But I told myself, I said, you know, self. We're gonna start working out. We're gonna we're gonna lose some weight. We're gonna we're gonna re- get really dedicated about this whole thing, you know. Because, you know, my ultimate goal is I want to get back down to. I remember, I first, I first about my life, I was like 180, 185, and now I'm, I'm now I'm in the now I'm in the twos, you know. And that was I met my wife you know, 12 years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. But uh, that's my goal. So I just want to announce that here, you know, that me, myself, and I, you know, are going to lose weight. And I, I will keep you abreast of this because, you know, sometimes you have to hold yourself accountable. And if I tell you, you know, my friend, you know, who's listening, you know, um, then I will be able to hold myself better accountable. It's better than me telling myself, like, yeah, man, we're going we gonna to start working out. And then, you know, three weeks later, you're like... I thought I was going to start working out. What happened? It's just like, who knows what happened. But, you know, I got this book. This weekend, I'm going to spend my time writing out, you know, writing out uh, eating eating plans, you know, writing out, you know, things I want to work 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 out, you know. I got all this. I got all this stuff at home. This I got yoga mats, you know. This is just like, all right, man, you know. Because I used to do yoga. I used to be, used to get, I was getting decent at it. But then, you know, of course, like I said, the, the caretaker business took over, you know, and then my wife, you know, we had the baby and it's just the whole thing, you know, but now it's like, all right, you know, I want to be able to, I want to be able to be around to see my baby for a long time. So I got to get in tip top shape. You know what I mean? And, uh, from the mind, the body and everything, you know, sometimes you have to align yourself, you know? And so I mean, me, myself. I'm I'm a praying man, so I've been you know saying quite a few prayers. Like you know, come on, God. You know, you know it's funny when I started really like really getting into um, praying and getting re- really into uh, you know uh, walking with the Lord. You know, one one thing about it, I, I laugh because I you know they like you know hey if you ever need anything you know pr- you know pray you know and pray hard and pray often you know and I'm like. All right, I'm like, all right, all right, G.O.D., you know, let's, uh, let's go. I need to, uh, pray real hard about this, uh, you know, because you don't realize sometimes when you, when you stop doing something, how hard it is to get back to it, you know what I mean? Like, I used to be in pretty good shape, you know, and, uh, I used to work out quite often, you know. You would see me, you could see me running at any truck stop in America, you know, Running and sweating and jumping rope, you know, <laughs> like a maniac. <laughs> and then you get to a point, you know, <clears throat> and it's like this whole thing about becoming a caretaker. That's not an excuse, but you know, I mean, like life happens. You know, sometimes you get off the you get off the trail, and that's all right. But it's like, all right, I'm off the trail. I'm out in the weeds. How do I get back? You know, how do you get back? And it's just like one step at a time. You know, you have to be patient. You know. And that's one thing that I, that I, that's one thing that I have to learn about everything, you know, in life. In life, you gotta have patience, you know. I do the podcast. I'm like, the first couple months I did the podcast, I was expecting like twenty five hundred 
<laughs> download the episode. <laughs> hey, listen. Bear with me. When I first did the podcast, I was like, man, what's my 2,500... What's well, about twenty five hundred uh, downloads the first week, you know? And I'm like, how do how can how can you expect twenty five hundred downloads when nobody knows you're doing a podcast, genius, you know? So it's been two years, and they say, you know, I I read this book uh, about podcast. My wife got me this book about podcasts because she saw I was very serious about it, you know. And um, you know, now that everybody that brother has a podcast. You have to work on the audience. You have to build up an audience. You know, it doesn't quite work. It's not as easy as it used to be, but there's still there's still time for you to do it. You know, as as, uh, as I told you before, no no market is saturated. So never think that a market is saturated. No podcast. Hey, there's a lot of podcasts. You know, but no no podcast market is saturated. It's about you. It's about you marketing yourself. And it's about the quality of your podcast. You know, you you just have to remember that. I had a discussion with my friend today. My friend's making cookies, you know. And so we started talking about, we started discussing origin stories, you know. And what, what and I was like, you know, if, you know, as long as the marketing is good, you'll be able to sell these cookies, you know. And he's like, yeah, I got to get the marketing up. Everything is, everything is marketing, you know. It's how you market yourself. It's how you carry yourself. You know, if you if you take yourself as a joke, you're gonna be you're gonna be a joke. You know what I mean? If you if you're very serious and you're like, hey man, I, I need to get on this this podcast, this podcast, that podcast, this YouTube channel, that YouTube channel. You know, you have to you have to market. You have to sell yourself. You know, the thing and one thing that I tried to avoid at first was like. I don't want to push myself on nobody. And it's like, come on, man, you're not pushing yourself on anybody. But if you have something to say, people want to, people want to hear. You know, you you owe it to people to to lend your voice. You know, because it's refreshing to hear from somebody like you, somebody like me. You know, who's not a quote unquote typical broadcast. You know, we're not an MS, we're not an MSNBC, we're not a Fox News, we're not polished. You know what I mean? We're not like Hey, and blah, 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 you know, no, this is, you know, a lot of the times, the things that I say are, are from me, and a lot of the times they're off the cuff, but I know what direction I'm headed, I know where I'm going, and I know what I'm saying, and all the stories that I have are from, you know, my point of view, from my life, you know, it's not like, oh man, let me go borrow, let me go steal this guy's, uh, you know, story, and and sell it to the pocket, to the audience, you know, to the to, to the listener, you know. Uh, it doesn't work that way. I'm telling you my point of view. I'm telling you my struggles, my, you know, triumphs, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, you know. We're sharing it. We're sharing it together, you know. And we're talking about marketing and selling yourself and, you know, you know, overcoming things, you know. And it's and it's hard, you know, but it's 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 hard, but it's not hard, you know. Once you build an audience, you know, that's the best thing you can do. Just build an audience. And, the way, and how do you build an audience? You create, start, just start creating content, you know, get the wheels in motion, you know, that's the most important thing. The most important thing is get the wheels in motion. Once you get the wheels in motion, then you start trying to figure things out. Don't wait till you have everything figured out, then get the wheels in motion. No, get the wheels in motion now and take it from there, you know. And that's how that works. It's not a, it's not about oh man, I got A B C D E F A A through Z can't be lined up, and then you're like, all right, let's go. You know, for the first your first couple things, just go. You know, just go and see where it takes you. You know, and then once you learn how to do stuff, it's like all right, now I know how to do this, I know how to do that, and the next adventure is gonna be better because you know you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? And then. And that's how that works. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is what this is not this not this is not even the subject of tonight's podcast. I'm just um, telling you, you know, about my trip and everything else, and about the weight loss and all that jazz. So, we're gonna take a commercial break. Not even a commercial break. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back. This is segment one. We're gonna come back for segment two. We're going to get into the crux of tonight's show. All right? So, I'll be right back. Thank you. Ladies and gents, how are you? Now, we're going to talk about something very important today. We're going to talk about a mail order business. Ladies and gentlemen, 
when you are doing, when you are, when whatever you do online, whatever you do as far as collecting emails, collecting, uh, collecting uh, information on people, one thing you should try to do, you know, if you have something that, let's let's say, let's talk about weight loss. We talked about weight loss in, in the first segment. Let's say you have vitamins you want to give people. You want to sell people. One thing you should do is have the ability to get their mailing address. And the reason why you want to get their mailing address is because not that you're going to write them every day, but people get so many emails from so many people that sometimes your emails don't work. Now, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. If you write every day, if you write every day, if you get to know your your email list, then they will open your emails. Don't get me wrong, but if you're somebody who's not gonna email every day, who's gonna email every blue moon. Who's gonna email sporadically? Who's gonna email only when you have an only when you have an offer? Then you should get all the information you can. And the reason why I say that is because sending people people will get less and less mail these days. So if you could send, let's say you have an offer for vitamins and you want to start sending people vitamins. And if you send them a letter about the vitamins that you have, you know, you write them a uh, a letter and you say, hey, you know, for a limited time only, if you reply to this, if you reply to this letter in the mail, I'll give you four, four, you know, four months supply of vitamins for the cost of two months, you know, something like that, you know, like uh, you can do things like that. You could you could send there's money to be made in, in, in the mail order business. And what made me what made me bring this up? Because I've talked about this before, but, you know, a lot of times people will tell you this is dead, that is dead, and sometimes the best thing you can do is to go where other people ain't, you know what I mean? If everybody's going to Facebook to sell, go the other way, you know what I mean? Go, like, you know, if you're, if you're in the business, if you're uh, in the business of, if you have something that you could, that you could ship physically through the mail yourself, you know? You, you, it's a mail order business. Why would you not get all the information you can about the address, the, you know, UPS, FedEx, the post office? They could be your best friend. You can make plenty of money selling stuff through the mail. Mail order businesses are not dead, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, if you have something, and the reason why I say not, not just, not just send products through the mail. Send your offers through the mail, and the reason why I say this is because, like, like every day I check, I I come back from vacation. I didn't have that much mail. If I saw something about, um, you know, somebody was like, "Hey, for a limited time, we got X, Y, Z," I'd be like, "All right, let me check this out." I would look through it. I would read it. I read every piece of mail I get. Why? Because I don't get that much mail. And I'm happy to receive. You know, I get things about windows and. Everything under the sun, you know. I read through it. You know why? Because I'm I'm from a time where getting mail was something good. It's like, all right, cool, man. I got some mail, you know. And if you send offers through the mail, people will respond. You know, don't think that it's a dead business. It's, it's not. And I was listening to this book by Arnold Schwarzenegger about his mail order business when he started. When he became a bodybuilder, you know, he started winning championships. <clears throat> he started a mail order business. He would send like uh, belts, you know. He would he would have like a little catalog, and he would ship ship it to people. People would order, you know. And he said he was making, you know, whatever the equivalent. I think he was making like twenty five, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year through this mail order business. You know, here's a guy who's a bodybuilder, you know, and he's like, hey. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a bodybuilder. I'm famous because you know I've won Mr. Olympia a couple of times. 
let me ship you a catalog through the mail order from me and you can start training like me and so you know he would sell belts he would sell you know shirts he would sell you know probably pills or whatever you know he would talk about his regimen you know he started selling books through the through the mail order business you know and um back in them days all you had to do was make come up with a catalog you know make you a catalog ship it to people people call up the catalog number call up whatever you know order and money was to be made and you could do the same you know you could send all types of orders through the mail you could send little uh samples you could send you know there's so much you could do with a mail order business and because and the reason i bring this up is because um uh, every now and then i get i get a letter from a, from a guy that i that i've bought from in the past you know and every now and then you know around christmas time springtime you know at least three or four times a year he'll send offers in the mail you know and it's like hey if you order this product it's it was 500 bucks you order this product now through the mail uh text me text me that you got this letter you open it you read it and uh i'll sell you the product instead of 500 bucks i'll sell you the product for 49 dollars you know and a lot of times it's good stuff you know and i remember i looked through it during christmas and i was like all right i'm gonna buy two of these things and i bought two of the things and i learned i learned a lot from them they're like tapes or whatever you know and i learned a lot from them and made some money from them and i'm like cool that was a cool idea and, and it also got me to thinking i was like i gotta start getting more you know addresses because i want to do more than just you know sell online you know i really want to cover all my bases you know i really want to you know send people send people stuff through the mail you know like send items send you know letters send sales letters send all kind of stuff through the mail because for me i'm like that's the way to go you know because i want to get into more of the um you know supplements and vitamins and selling stuff like that you know and the more i can do that the more i can say okay it's time to really ramp up the the mail order business you know and the number one the number one way you can do that is of course having uh having addresses you know because you just when you when you when you when you just capture somebody's email that's cool and everything but you want more you want phone numbers so you can text because you you can send out massive texts you know you can send out massive texts about sales and everything else and sometimes people will see a text more than they will see an email you know especially if you don't have a relationship with your email list you know if you have a relationship with your email list then that is one of the best thing you do because they will they will always go they will always seek out your emails you know they will always find your emails but if you don't have a relationship with your email list then you you might want to start getting phone numbers you might want to start getting mailing addresses but like i said the mail mailing stuff through the through the <clears throat> sending mail is not dead you know getting phone numbers is not dead none of this stuff is dead people people love to say hey try this try that you know sell on facebook but if there's a thousand and one people selling on facebook what are you gonna do you gonna stop you're gonna be hesitant you're gonna be like why should i buy from them you know but if you got one guy sending stuff through the mail you'll be like all right i'll take a look you know you could be that guy because many people will not because it takes discipline to start sending stuff through the mail you know it takes it takes discipline to actually go through with it on a regular basis you know and some and most of the time these days people don't have that discipline so keep that in mind create things that you can send through the mail make sure and forget about forget about sending your products through the mail that's 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 the given create offers and write letters write um copy write you know your copywriting skills get them up a little bit and write stuff that you can ship through the mail you know like letters newsletters uh offers deals all kinds of things you know little trinkets little uh you know keep people guessing keep people happy keep the mail jumping <clears throat> and 
the money the money will start rolling in. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Don't forget, create create get as many addresses as you can. You know, and there's always a way. You can always rent them. You can always rent a list if you have a if you have a solid offer. If you have a solid product and you really want to send people through the mail, you can always rent lists. There's different ways to go about it. If you want to f- find it out, me myself, I went on. Uh, I know a, I read a book from a guy named Bob Bly. He has these. He had on his website BobBly.com. He has different ways that you can rent lists. You know, I highly recommend you go to his website anyway because you can learn a lot if you're into copywriting. You can learn a lot from Mr. Bob Bly, but. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back tomorrow with all the episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.